Sir Dominic we're in the moss the dust is rising and we're actually harvesting a bit of peat today huh? what exactly is involved in harvesting peat so it starts off milling then like, uh -huh. is that kind of like a par hara no it works more like a rotavator there's teeth on it maybe an inch and a half two inches long it'll go along and break the face of the peat and after that there's an ordinary six meter grass hara there that turns the peat to let it dry is it the same as a grass harrow yeah it's just your it's just your ordinary grass harrow no nothing modifications at all nothing special about it it sort of turns the peat as such and lets it dry and takes out it works out well there it takes any sticks and that out of it to a certain extent and she's on uh, lovely wee 11090. She's the 11090. She's still part of the classic. The classic fleet. Classic fleet. Aye, it's real. Well, a wee bit of a variety. It's Casey New Holland here, isn't it? Aye, well, that's 160 Puma, T7 200, the T6 140, two TM 155s, the TM 190, yes. your 8090, 780, and 11090 feet. And everything is completely ignorant. I used to buy big tires, uh, dual wheels. That's a necessity here. Well, uh, yeah, as you've seen. I did notice that now. After the melon, then you're harrowing for. Do you mill it once? You mill it over once after you left. Then that breaks it up, uh -huh. and then you come along with your harrow. Yeah, your grass harrow. Which breaks it up more. Uh, well, to an extent, it uh, tosses it more. More or less just tosses it and takes out any yeah. bits of twigs and that and yeah. that'll sort of it's easier in the machinery lifting it. Two, you're not getting sticks wrapped in around her. Yes. Because there'll be a right few sticks about it. Aye, yeah. once the moss you're down in that black or peat there, there'll be more sticks and whatnot in through it. And after your harrowing's done. You you could harrow two or three times over, maybe even four times. Well, are permitting to get the peat dry enough to collect, and you have your grass harrow, and we also have a spoon harrow there that we call it. That's about 40 foot wide, that could take the full bank. I think it kind of works like a tether, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty In much the same idea, it's flipping over the body and letting the back side of it get dried. And a month that's all harrowed and fluffed up, basically. It's the ridger, isn't it? Yeah. It comes along. You have your ridger there. She will take a swipe of about, I think it's 40 foot as well. She takes the full bank and that puts it into the row then. That'd be the equivalent of like a wreck for in front of a harvester. Pretty much, yeah. Same idea. And this is kind of like a wagon in a way. Uh huh. Left in grass. That's just a heron on tracks. Yeah. So the harvesting then, you just go along that row and yeah. it picks it up. Yeah, you, you have, on this lifter here, it's chain driven, it has box section feed bars there with a rubber flap on it, and, that's, and there's a low, bottom spinner, sort of like a pickup reel, that throws it up into the biomer, into the trailer as such. Yeah, like, Just, it's right, very similar to the likes of a wagon then. Same principle, walking floor and all the rest. Yeah, you can, it does take a decent load with it, like. Ah, it's just, I couldn't tell you exactly how much it is, but it's a brave load over the moss. Yeah. So she's uh, on tracks. Yeah, it's just plastic tracks there, steel chains, four idlers, the other. And then there's uh, that TM lifting as well. Uh -huh. She's pretty ignorant looking now. She is. She's the She's the big lady. The big lady. As much as it pains to say. <laughs> she is on a bug. Hog. Aye, uh, bog hog, that's made by hand engineering. Yeah. So it has, they, they are good and soft ground. They, I, uh, the weight would be a bit, be a bit wider, wouldn't it? Aye, uh, she's a lot wider and it wouldn't be as heavy so all together. Float a bit better. They're yeah. probably six and a half ton or that, aren't they? Yeah. Whereas this Difco machine, she's about ten ton. That's alright, but I wait now across the moss now. It is alright, you take your load and your tractor on top of that. Aye, uh, you'd need, you definitely would need the dual wheels now. Oh, you, you couldn't do without them now. But then, you can still, 
You can still fairly get layered on her anyway. Ah, uh, if you're if you're good enough, you can find yourself a big enough hole to park her on the. Yeah. That's happened me a time or two before. Hey, is a is a is a regular occurrence getting stuck here? Like. Ah, uh, it's kind of is. Tell you the truth. It's just not one of them things. It's not really avoidable. Ah, uh, <laughs> just sort of pull the chain out and take her out and go on ahead. Give Samantha a call. Ah, uh, Samantha's kind of hard to beat now. Uh, that is some machine, that TM190. She is. Yeah, if, yeah, if she can't pull you out, you know you're on board. Yeah, you'll have to call the digger that kind of crack. Uh, she's nearly past the digger at that stage. Aye. I don't think we've ever been bit her yet. Did that TM190 come with tracks, or did you just modify them? She was bought from the south with that trencher on the back of her. as a, that was a complete machine. It's like weather like what how does that work so this the past two weeks been real good for you is yeah because yeah. like there's been wall to wall sunshine yeah it hasn't been any rain for a couple of weeks now seeing that real good weather how often can you harvest at the minute there we're we're working between the two different plots one just a couple hundred meters down the road from here um the way you're working there at the minute you have you can row up one plot and you can be lifting that a day while there's a man down the other plot borrowing to get it ready. Provided you have the staff, you can be lifting every day. I'm working between the staff and weather. So basically it's like non stop in that real good weather? Yeah, if you, have, if you get the right way of going, not too many breakdowns, which is kind of hard to get. Yeah. yeah. Problems with dust and uh, everything like that. There, plenty of dust. You can hardly see around yourself here as it is. Aye, you need to be fairly blowing her out Aye. quite regularly now. Twice a day there, the, the one the way things are going. It's just it sort of keeps the whole thing right. It's got eye in there on top of the engine, what not, and smolder. Yeah. yeah I like to see your like say there's a real heavy rain shower for a day. Would that be used like? stopped for a while. Yeah, because if you had a full day's rain there, it could take up to nearly a week of good weather to get back, back at it. it. Oh, I back at it. So the rain can fairly upset you, think? Yeah, you can have dry peak on top of the ground, but the ground below that dry peak can be soaking. It's just not ideal to travel on. Aye, that's just the way the, the sort of moss works. Aye. Yeah. Aye. It's like a sponge nearly, isn't it? Aye, it's nothing like a clay field at all. It soaks it all up. Aye. Whenever you have your uh, Full the repeat, and you just take her to the side of the field, don't you? Or the yard? You can all depend what direction you're heading down the bank or what sort of condition the bank's in. If it's a heavy crop, you can take the first load. The way we're working it here at the minute, you have sort of one load to the yard, one load to the side of the moss. Yeah. And then that stuff to the side of the moss. You have a heron, H2 heron there, a poly grain filler. Around the winter time, you can throw it around the lane under the yard. So it works out all right there. So that kind of keeps you busy over the winter too, drawing yeah. that stuff around. Nah. Then the stuff in the yard, it's it sort of keeps the shovels going, doesn't it? Aye, right, it keeps the whole thing afloat. Yeah. Right. Plenty it's left there from the winter time drawing as well. I use a fairly big shovels like over around there. Aye, right, there's <laughs> two one twenty volvos there at the moment. Six and seven cube buckets. Seem pretty fresh now. Aye, there's one there only. She only landed. She'll be here two months. Is there running flat out every day? Aye, there's one flat out there all the time. Yeah. Keeping the machines going. What yeah. actually like comes of the peat? Like, it's made in the compost, isn't it? Uh -huh. That's the whole reason behind it. That's why it gets lifted, isn't it? Uh -huh. To make compost. And the bags and someone's garden. Yeah. Keeps the whole country gardening. Uh -huh. This here, Pete. So the case is your kind of tractor then. Yeah, uh, that's sort of my go-to machine now. To be honest, just be the nicest one to sit on. I know. I well, you you got your aircon fixed. Then uh, I it was a touchy subject there for a I few days. Did look pretty plain now in uh, that heat and uh, all that dust. Just wasn't how you did. Now you can't really open a window on the moss. No, especially with all that dust. You wouldn't be breathing for long. No, 
And you prefer that lifter then? The yeah. Defco, I would prefer the Defco now. Yeah. It's not ideal in this ass spot as we'll maybe find out here looking by this road. <laughs> I think I've had to go for the diff lock here, but... Ah, but this, this key is fairly, you know, The key is fairly held its own there earlier, whenever we near get stuck. Ah, uh, the key is now, she's, she's never... She just wouldn't be as good as the TM with the grip, but... She's not too bad now. She's plenty of power, she's a fair bit more power. You need a lot of power pull that machine through the ball, Ah, so. I would have thought so. And then if legs, if a, if a spot is too sticky nearly, you can just leave her and you get can, her the next time, hopefully. You can leave her and get it the next time, or if I'm not filling up to get one. That's lifter stuff. He can go into it with the TM and the bow hog. Uh, it's nine times out of ten, and the bow hog will get it. The bow hog's just, they'll be a lot slower at lifting now, but you can go a lot further with them. Yeah. You can be lifting. I didn't notice that you were always pushing on ahead nearly in this thing. Aye, oh, this here you could be lifting, well, all depending on the road, but you're never really any lower than 7th or maybe 8th. In a real light row there, you get chance her on the 10th as long as you know her from yeah. like lumps or anything. The, that, whereas the bow cog, you could be, if you're doing well, you get any quicker than 3rd. 3rd gear, yeah. yeah. Uh, a3. A3. Do you ever do much in the fiat? I'll do the odd day in the fiat now. It's your badly bit. Usually I can be harvesting most days now. Yeah. If we haven't had a good week or that, you, or you're maybe down a man. Be sent out in the harrow then. Aye. You just sort of plan not to be in a fiat in the warm day. Aye, that's fair enough now. She's, she's air calling and all on her, surprisingly, for a 11090, but it just doesn't work. Right. There, there can't not be the holes in the cab. Is that the air going through them now? Oh no, that one ten is pretty mint now for... For what she is now? Or for an original. No, she's 03 now, she hasn't... Well, she hasn't seen a welder or paint yet, I know Some tow, and she's on the floats, not Dr. Jill wins. Aye, she's at floats now, she would float in dirty water that time. Oh, definitely would. Like, you drive around that pond and she probably just... Oh, she would, surely. <laughs> That's why she's a lot better there for the horror going over the moss a lot. Aye, not... she'd be up and over it more than... Aye, like, you're there. not getting as much compaction for her. She's a lot lighter, too. Is that why they've kept the 110, then? And Aye, the, the fates will always have their place now. In the moss, anyway. Aye. So, this year, late start, because of the wet spring, yeah. Yeah. Typically when can you sort of get started? Well, there's years there you could have started in March. Or I years you wouldn't mean start it to July. Every year's different. Yeah. It's not really like you're relying on something to grow, you're just No, oh, it's always there. If you can get into it, you, you get you it. You can work away, yeah. You're, you're not waiting on fertilizer to settle or anything. Or slurry to go on or anything. Uh -huh. Just all it is then is the weather, depending on if you can travel. As long as you can travel, you have a bit of sun to get the feet dry in there, you normally do not too bad. So you don't have to worry about storing it either, you just sort of leave her out and. Aye, you're never really stuck for space now. Does it need to be dry whenever it's going through the machines or anything? It needs to be dry to an extent. It can't be bone dry or it's not really. Or it's just pure dust nearly. Aye. Uh, yeah. So ideally you need like hay making weather? More or less. More or less. That's ideal now. So when boys are making hay, you'll be flat out in the bog nearly. Uh -huh. Most of the time. Many times out of the hand. Yeah. And in a good year, how many times will you be out harvesting? You I've seen us getting 17, 18 laps in a year there. Off each field nearly. Oh, right, yeah. Off each moss. There's a lot of eggers in the moss. There so is. There's... Like, how, do you, how do you even come about and learn how to drive in the moss? Like, just, does it just come to you yeah, after a while? You can't teach it. Like, no. Either I've got it or you don't. I either have it or you don't. Like, I'd just say, say it is. I take a bit, a bit of skill now to realise 
when you're going down and, and here like that's so not all, about knowing how to drive in the moss, it's about knowing the moss you're driving in. Knowing when to stop yeah. and how much is I should probably not chance this kind of thing. Yeah, and it, you sort of do see most of the time where isn't ideal to go on to. Yeah, like there's wee bits that are browner than the others. No, I like, see the blacker, sort of shinier spots, that's usually a no-no. You normally just avoid at all costs kind of yeah. thing. And then you know whenever you're bait alright. Yeah, you know when you're bait the wheels are moving with the tractors and all. Yeah. And you just don't fight with it. No. It's a You're not going to get far. Aye, if you try and fight with it, you just near dig yourself a deeper hole in it. It's very easy, don't. You just give Samantha a call and she's never far away. Yeah, she comes to the rescue. That other one's a bit wetter than this one, isn't it? Aye, Up it's, the river. You would be giving it more of a, a trumpet now. It's, you can only tap it one side of it. Right. Whereas here, you can tap it both ends. You have the yard and it. The moss. I have a good few angles here now. No, I've done it best to go. Whereas down the road you're, you're having to track up one row empty and come down one and lift it down. So you're always strumming it twice more than you have to. Yeah. Well, I think that's everything sort of covered and well, to my curiosity anyway. Yeah. I've, I've learned quite a bit now, I must say.